G'day everybody, in this short four minute video there's a lot of information. We're just going to show how to animate tie flow particles using noise. We're also going to look at different ways we might colorize them. We're going to have explanation screens like this one which shows the flow and then also some follow-up screens which explain in more detail. The whole idea here is that um, you pause on the screens to get the information you need and it's kind of a cool tutorial in that there's a lot of information packed in a very short period of time and we look all at five different ways of creating animated particles just using noise to position them and then we use various methods to colorize them we're doing a lot of value operators and some expressions based on those expressions and different things like that uh, we learn different ways that we might colorize all these particles so like I said just kind of watch the whole video hopefully it renders okay in uh, YouTube because it might compress it a lot right now it's 900 meg to file because of all these animated particles and in this one here, what I really wanted to do was have the color spread out, but the white tie flow symbol stay the same even though it was being animated at different heights. So the tie flow stays static while the particles animate, and we use value operators and we use conditional operators to test if particles are inside objects. And again, we colorize based on height, so we do some height detection and then based on those values we set the material IDs. This was just a variation where you can see animated reds, like as if it was a river or something flowing. There's just several different shades of red and for that we use the random number generator the script and so this kind of example shows how we might mix script with um, noise with value operators and uh, I kind of like the look of this one and here we just kind of explain the uh, expressions in more detail because it's actually a nested if which just makes it look a bit more complicated and I really like the colors in this one but anyway and then finally we kind of finish off with this animated flag which is again all the movement is based on noise but the colorization is based on being inside objects so we use the surface test to test whether or not we're inside objects and in the top right there you can see the various objects that we're using for the tests and then initially we just set blue on all the colors and then we override it with the red and white but Again, pause the screens, have fun, take it easy, Rob.